Humanity is acting like a small child. You have probably wondered why rappers have diamond teeth and teachers sometimes can barely afford to go to the dentist. Why do football players make millions while cancer researchers are middle-class citizens and even sometimes struggle financially if the proposal for their next project gets rejected? Now, I like amusement as much as the next guy, but I would prefer that there was a 100% effective, easily accessible cure for cancer, even if the FIFA World Cup gets cancelled 10 times in a row because of it. Wouldn't you? If you start asking people for their opinion, most of them would probably prefer the security of highly effective medicine for them and their families. Yet, according to Forbes, Ronaldo is set to earn $125 million before taxes in the 2021-22 season and the highest salary for a cancer research scientist in the United States is around $158,000 per year. Now that of course is ridiculous, but have you asked yourself why that is happening? I think there's a very good analogy that describes this situation very nicely. Have you heard of the Stanford Marshmallow Experiment? It's a very interesting experiment in which a child was offered a choice between one small but immediate reward or two small rewards if they waited for a period of time. You can either wait, and I'll give you another one if you wait, or you can eat it now. When I come back, I'll give you two, another one, so then you'll have two. But stay in here and stay in the chair till I come back, okay? okay. All right. During this time, the researcher left the room for about 15 minutes and then returned. How'd you do? Did you do good? You did? Yeah. You wanted to eat it, didn't you? Yeah. So did I tell you I'd give you another one? Okay, now you can have both. You need them. <laughs> In follow-up studies, the researchers found that children who were able to wait longer for the rewards tended to do better in life, have higher SAT scores, educational attainment, a lower body mass index, and other life measures. You probably already get the analogy, but just to be clear, we humans act like small children when we plan for the future. We want the immediate rewards the best football experience, the best music concerts. We make those things huge spectacles, and that's not a bad thing. But can we balance it out a bit? Would it hurt us if Ronaldo's salary was, let's say, just $60 million, and the other 60 were saved, for example, for whoever finds the cure for cancer? I think it is reasonable. I wouldn't be surprised if even Ronaldo himself agrees with this statement. We can also make it a spectacle and, for example, make a reality show about cancer researchers if that would make things easier for us to relate to and give our support. Why is it so difficult for us to act a little bit more responsibly towards our future and the future of our children? I can tell you a couple of reasons. At least if we start talking about them, we will be moving towards a possible solution somewhere in the future. The first reason is lack of empathy, even towards ourselves in the future. Think about it. Do we actually stop to think about what our future self would experience a couple of hours later after we eat that supersized fast food meal? My guess would be that a lot of us don't. Imagining the future and planning for it is a skill that we need to work on and get better at. Focusing first on our personal future and then expanding it towards our family, friends and eventually everyone around us. I think the more we develop our education system, the better we would get at understanding our psyche and how to develop these skills in order to make our personal lives better, but also be more responsible towards the future of our species. I also think that there is another thing that could make humans more responsible towards humanity's future, and this is prolonging our lifespan. Think about it. If you start asking people how concerned they are about climate change, 
Some of them would start arguing that it does not exist and that everything is a hoax and that even the scientists who fully support the theory cannot see the future. But I want to ask those people who doubt this theory, would they still maintain their point of view unchanged if they knew that they are going to live for at least 1,000 years and would suffer the consequences later if, in fact, climate change was real? Perhaps some of them wouldn't change their minds and would still want to enjoy the roar of their Mustang's engine here and now, but I would argue that some of them would imagine that if they delay their gratitude and prepare for a possible disaster, they would have a better future 300 years later. So in my opinion, these problems, again as most problems of humanity, boil down to the need for better education and faster innovation and discoveries. If these topics interest you, you can check out our other videos in which we go deeper into the discussion of how we can make education better and how we can accelerate innovation and discoveries. You can also check out our free platform for education, which we hope will someday be able to bring quality education to everyone on this planet. Anyway, if we have managed to brighten your day a bit, give us a like so that the YouTube algorithm will be happy. Tell us what you think in the comments below and subscribe for more future thoughts.